Okay. All right, hey, brothers, you know, once again, you know, first of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh. Double honors to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Shout out to the Lecter Pass Oldest at Great Millstone that do well. Uh, 2022, okay, you know, um, year of what, uh, what is it called? The, 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 the year of the turn up, of uh, turning up, yeah, the year of the turning up, okay, all right, and um, you know, of course, we know judgment is coming, you know, on the house of Israel first, you know, the men of the Lord, I mean, not the men of the Lord, but the, the men that know that, it, that they're Israelites, okay. And, um, you know, what spirit we're supposed to be in, man, you know, seeing that we know that our salvation is is nearer to what we believe. Okay, the salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the elect of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so we know that America is going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles. Okay, which that fire that comes out of the nuclear missiles. Okay. That's gonna be shot off from the uh, uh, nuclear missile capable countries that have nuclear missiles. We know that Yahweh Shai is coming back, okay, to shoot lasers out of the chariots. Yahweh Shai being on the biggest chariot, okay, according to the book of Second uh, Thirteen chapter. So you know what what spirit are we supposed to be? Or are we supposed to be in the spirit of mirth? You know, like how they had this um, so-called New Year's, you know, everybody out there, you know, uh, having a party and saying Happy New Year's and all this old madness, man. You know, making New Year's resolutions, you know, praising, you know, the Feast of Bacchus, because that's basically what the New Year's is, man. Okay? It's the Feast of Bacchus. All right? Uh, get drunk, reverie. Reverie, all manner of wickedness. You know, but what spirit are the men of the Lord supposed to be in? We're going to get into it right now. So, okay, great. Read it. It's Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Yeah, the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Okay? On a surprise tip, man. Because, see, these people out here that just, you know, uh, did the, the New Year's. Celebration, they ain't thinking about Yahweh Shai coming back, man. Okay, bringing destruction on this place, man. They ain't thinking about what's going on with um with, with Putin and and Biden. You know, they ain't thinking about that, man. All they thinking about is trying to get things back to normal. Okay, that's all they thinking about. Okay, so that's how the day of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall come as a thief. Okay, all right. It says, but the day of the Lord, what's the day of the Lord? Death and destruction for America. All right, the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It's going to catch body, everybody of God, man. You know, okay, the ones that's not in the know, these peons out there, two thirds of you so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. It's going to catch them off God. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that brother. Right. This is uh Psalm 73 and 17. Until I went into the, the sanctuary of the most high, then I understood the end. Well, let me read it again. I messed it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, uh Psalms 17 and uh, 17 or well, Psalm 73, 17. Until I went into the sanctuary of Yahweh, then then understood <clears throat> I their end. So yeah. until you, until you came into the truth. And having a wisdom not understanding of what's going on, the, the, the times and events of things happening, World War Three, the chip, uh, you know, understanding the pestilence and things of that nature are happening, you don't understand those things until you come into the truth. Outside of that, you're blind. Right. You're, you're literally blind to the fact of all of this, man. Right. Yeah. All right? Yeah, right. That they didn't have an agenda. You just you see what I'm saying? You know, the wicked international Jewish bankers, they have an agenda. Okay, it's called the New World Order. 
Okay, all right. They want to give everybody the uh, MOTV. Okay, they want to give everybody that RFID check. I'm saying we just a mark of the beast. Mentioned the book of Revelation 13, chapter 16, verse, man. Okay, so they're going to have control over the whole world and they can monitor everybody in the world, man. Okay, go ahead. It says, in, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Yeah, yeah, it's so called white man's rulership, man. Okay, shall pass away with a great noise. What is that? Those nuclear missiles. If you know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, 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 Joe Biden and, and Putin, you know, they got that situation in the Ukraine, man. You know, NATO want to go over there and, and, and occupy it. Russia is, is not having that, man. That's going to culminate into the Third <coughs> World War. Okay, because if if NATO is allowed to go over there, America is what allies with NATO. So what you think America going to do, man? They don't want to put their nuclear missiles over there, man. You get the first strike on Russia. Okay, but that's not the case. Russia is going to get the first strike on America, man. All right? So it says shall pass away with a great noise. What's that great noise? When the nuclear missiles are shot off and they impact over here in America, man. Okay? That's that great noise that's gonna take place, man. Those nuclear missiles. That's what's shortly coming to pass according to prophecy. Go ahead. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. That's how we know it's talking about nuclear missiles, man. Because if your nuclear missiles got the fire in them, baby, all right, hell, they got, they say that the nuclear missiles is goddamn hotter than the surface of the sun, man. Okay, so all the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All you see here in America, all you see here in America, all you see here in America is going to be done away, it's going to be melted away by the nuclear missiles, man. All right, the buildings, uh, the, 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 the goddamn peak, the two thirds, the heathens, so called white man's left hand. Uh, the buildings, the, the, the infrastructure, the cars, the goddamn FRNs that niggas love so goddamn much and that are murder and, and die for and so they sold for, man. The goddamn stock market, okay? Everything's going to, the, 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 the fake gold and the platinum and diamonds and all this madness, man. Beverly Hills, all, all this madness is going to be done, done away with, man. Okay, go ahead. Right, bring it out, bring it out, break it down. This is Joel uh, 2 and 2, going into 3. Well, 2 and 2, 2 and 3. It says, uh, a day of darkness, a day of gloomness, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and they're strong. Yeah, that great people and they're strong. It's talking about those people they miss us, man. The dope, that's a great people and they're strong. Okay, that's a strong army, man. Yeah, that's a strong people, right. okay? Those nuclear missiles, man, go ahead. This is a great people and it's strong. Mm -hmm. It has not been ever since life. Oh, it's not had ever been slight. Why? Because back in the ancient world, they didn't have no nuclear missiles, man. You know what I mean? They had, you know, you know they had like Greek fire. Arrows. Yeah, arrows, you know, arrows with the fire on it. You know what I'm saying? You know, but nah, they, they never had this kind of technology that was, that Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah gave the so-called white man to to create these nuclear missiles for his own damn destruction, man. Okay, go ahead. This is uh neither shall be any more after it. Yeah, because neither shall be any more after because once some nuclear missiles are used, once they once they're detonated, there ain't gonna be no more wars, man. Okay? There ain't gonna be no more nuclear missiles created, man. Okay? Go ahead. Even to the years of many generations. That's right. And this is the point that you were saying about the warheads. Now. Yeah. It says, a fire devoured before them, <laughs> and behind them, a flame burning. Yeah, a fire, a fire devoured before them, which is those nuclear warheads. Okay? That's how it's gonna be. What, what, what did the scripture say? 200,000 thousand, okay? Which is basically 200 million warheads, man. Okay? A fire devoured before them, man. Because when them nuclear missiles are detonated, man, you see that wave of fire that's going to melt everything. Okay? Okay, now, read that again. A fire devoured 
before them. Go ahead. Verse 3 in jo uh, uh, Second Joel 2 and 3. It says, A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burning. And behind them a flame burning. That's a propulsion system, man. Okay? That's what propels the nuclear missiles from one end to the earth all the way to the next end of the earth. Just like God says in um, um, uh, Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, man, the arrows that shall be shot from the ends of the earth. Okay? Now, you can't take an arrow and shoot it from one end of the earth to the next, so it has to be talking about the nuclear missiles. Okay? And guess what? Now, they got supersonic missiles, man. You know? They go to the atmosphere and they they and then they glide at what was it, four times, five times the speed of uh, sound. Okay? So Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is setting up these nations to, to set up these nuclear missiles for uh, to, for the destruction of the Holland, the Great War, which is represents America, man. Okay? And just like in uh, Isaiah talking about the Brigadine. Yeah, which is the defense system is not going to be able to uh, stand up against all right, the right, weapons right, out there. Yep, yep, yep. that's right. No, that's right. Going to break right. through. I'm going to finish it out. I know you right. brothers got something, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me yeah, finish it out. Let, me, let them brothers. Yeah, okay. Okay, come, come, come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, come. And it says, um, the land is as the uh, Garden of Eden before them. Yeah, yeah, the land is as the Garden of Eden before them because, you know, America still. Come on, man. Hey. Come on, man. You know, you know, you still got they, they building, you know what I'm saying? You know, they, you know, they still got their bars open, you know, the restaurants, you know what I'm saying? And you know, they still got they, you know, they, they banks, you know what I'm saying? So, man, it has a garden eating before them, because that's how, I'm, listen, why everybody want to come to America, man? Okay? Because it's all pretty like, man. You know, everybody wants to come to this place. So, yeah. America's still doing its thing. Go ahead. It says, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. And, and behind them, a desolate. So after them nuclear missiles come and uh, and bring fire on it, okay, from the nuclear missiles, it's going to be a what? A barren wasteland, man. Read that again. Right, and it says, the land is as a garden of eating before them, and yeah, behind yeah, them. Yeah, that land is talking about America, man. Go ahead. And behind them a desolate wilderness. And behind them a desolate wilderness. Okay? Because the whole of America is going to become a desolate wilderness, which is a desert. Only desert creatures are going to dwell there, man. No more uh, 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 buildings, you know, no more banks, no more uh, LGBT clubs, okay? <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. Uh, uh, Rappers, rap, rap clubs, and then no more Airbnbs, no more none of this shit, man. Okay, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a barren wilderness, brother. Okay, go ahead. And it says, and none, and nothing shall escape them. And nothing shall escape them, man. That's it. So whoever's left here, that's gonna be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, the, the, the two thirds, you know, whatever heathens is left over here. Okay, and all the other Edomites that's left over here in America, nothing is, is going to escape that, that that nuclear fire, man. Okay, all right. No more baseball. Salaki, I'm gonna let you brothers get in. Baba Kusha. No more baseball. No, no, no more goddamn playoffs. No more basketball. Goddamn players. No more. No no more March Madness. No no more college uh, basketball. None of this shit. No more matches. You know what I'm saying? That puffy. And, and you know the rest of these the Negroes that sell out for man, okay? None of this, no more land, no more nothing. All this is going to be destroyed, man. Nothing shall escape. Hey, okay, you brothers got it. Hey, go ahead, Kazaki, and we gonna go down the line. All right. This is uh, uh, Jeremiah twenty-three and nineteen. It says, "Behold, a whirlwind of Yahweh is on forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously." upon the head of the wicked you know and it's the head of the wicked like the other was saying man you know going back into these uh melakite you know these kingdoms like hey yeah hey, he said speak a little louder can you hear me now yeah yeah everything up everything's up yeah okay uh, can, can you hear me 
Yeah, go ahead. All right, you want me? All right, this is Jeremiah 23, verse 19. It says, Behold, a whirlwind of Yahweh is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. And I was just, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, now I was just emphasizing that, you know, all of that destruction that the elder was bringing forth, going into the nuclear missiles coming from, from the Lord, the scriptures clearly indicate that this is of the Lord. All of this destruction is all come is, is all coming forth from Yahweh, right? And it's all uh intended to uh to to to, to fall upon the head of the wicked, right? So it says verse twenty says the anger of Yahweh shall not return until he have executed till he have performed the thoughts of his heart in the latter days ye shall consider it perfectly and the way y'all are going to consider it perfectly is the way the prophets are making it plain upon the table y'all are going to understand clearly what these scriptures are saying once the lord brings this destruction man y'all are going to see right. that that time is going to be too late you first got it <laughs> all right it's uh isaiah 54 and 16. It says, Behold, I have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. I mean, we know that the actual smith, the father of the uh, atomic bomb, that was Robert J. Oppenheimer. But like the elder said, that's the, the beauty of the Lord, that, that he used the Amalekite to, to make this uh, weapon, and he's going to use uh this weapon against the amalekites man yeah they're the great hey. the great artifices yeah yeah they're the great artifices yeah. Yeah. God, man. and it says no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me saith the lord so we don't have nothing to worry about as long as you keep the, the word of the lord's patience all you gotta do is <laughs> do what we doing yeah, so them dudes that talk shit about the apostles, <laughs> hey man, guess what? You know, the elect apostles, all the bishops, elders, and brothers, hey, guess what, man? They're going to be judged for that, man. You know? They're going to be judged for that. You know? You know, all that shit about, oh, uh, y'all talking about Arabian, y'all doing this, and GMS is doing that. And, hey man, guess what? They're going to be judged for that, man. You know, because you how about I tell me how about try to set up his men, his prophets to go out there and prophesy his word, man. You know? And if these dudes are speaking against the apostles, like, you know, Sophie, you know, I call them dopey, you know what I'm saying? These dudes that speak against the men of the Lord, you know, they won't be judged for that, man. You know? Because why? Because it's not the apostles, it's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. It's his word. You know what I'm saying? You know? That's right. Like, the new thing over the last over the last day until they be mad at us now because brothers have said things about this particular scarf about called rap the news, you know. On the so called day of New Year, the Lord took the ghost from that nigga, man. Wow. You know? That tomorrow literally blew his candle out. And when brothers had things to say about him for what he said about us. And right. you got the followers, the fans of this guy. They, they, they're hot, they mad. Right, 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 right. It is what it is, man. That's right. That's right. You know? You shouldn't throw rocks if you live in a glass house, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you last two brothers had something? Yeah, yeah. Con, I, yeah, I got one too. Yeah, go uh, ahead, uh, uh, your rock. Yeah, this is Zechariah chapter 5 and verse, uh, and verse 3. It says, Then, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. We're just talking about Yahweh Bashim Yahusha coming upon his chariot, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, that, that, uh, when that chariot entered to the earth atmosphere, it's going to block out the sun, the moon, and everything like this, all the stars and everything like that. Which is found in Matthew 24th chapter. It says, For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off. And we know that's talking about Amalek, all right? Esau, Edom. Okay? It's found in the book of Exodus. It says, He that stilleth a man, Okay, instead of a man, most guys gonna get it. Okay, and you know Esau Amalek funded the uh the uh, transatlantic slave trade. All right, and it says shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it. 
right? So how is this man going to go out of power? He's going to go out of power through, through nuclear fire. That's what's going to take Esau, eat him out. And then how shots come with that chair, icing on the table. Okay? That's it on that. You got it. Can you uh, go ahead, Ryan, so the, give it back to the, uh, the elder or whatever? Kind. This is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. Just to back up the Thessalonians, we opened it up with, where it says, uh, the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. And in that chapter, it also says, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. As the elder was saying, the, the new year came in, and a lot of these people out here are looking for better times. But the theme of this year is Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, turning things up. So it's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse. Right. Many more people are going to die from these calamities, and those that survive and aren't of that elect number are ultimately going to be missile fuel. And the new year started off beautifully with crack the news dying, uh, uh, a rebellious reprobate getting cut off. And that's, that's going to be the, the theme for the rest of this year. It's, it's coming down to who's next on the scoffer list that's going to get sent back to the spirit world. Right. And those of you that had things to say about GMS because we were happy he died, hey, you get you get to go right along with your with your false idol. Yeah, yeah As it, that's right. That's right, brother. Yeah, yeah, brother. That's right. That's right, brother. That's right. That's right, man. Con, as it says in Proverbs chapter one, hey, when your calamity cometh, he will mock at you. Not only the Most High, Yahweh Shai, and the angels gonna mock at you, but the men of the Lord are gonna mock at you. So you can expect for us to continue tearing down you idol, tearing down your idols, and tearing down you as well as this judgment continues to come out. But this is a uh, second real, real fast because we only know what the scripture says. The scripture says in Jeremiah uh, that you should the Lord said, don't even cry for these people. Need to lift up a yeah, prayer yeah, for yeah, them, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, so when we we don't we don't we do as the scripture says, man, you niggas want to get mad at us, man. That other guy, that other guy from IUIC call us the most evil, wickedest camp. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but go ahead. I finish your point. Okay. This is Second Peter's chapter. Go ahead, my bad. Con, this is Second Peter's chapter three, verse ten, backing up that Thessalon Thessalonians. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Okay. And those heavens passing away is this this current rulership of the Edomites, backing up what the the elder brother Yach and I brought out in Joel chapter two. The land shall be as the Garden of Eden before those missiles hit. And when those heavens pass away and those missiles hit, then it's going to be that desolate, uninhabitable wasteland. In that, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up by thermonuclear fire. Everybody in the United States of America that isn't of the elect getting wiped off the face of the earth, and those in those other countries that get, get hit, a lot of y'all getting taken out, and then when the dust settles, like, uh, the only thing you, you heathens have to look forward to is getting rounded up and put into slavery by those 144,000 hunters led by Yahweh Shai. And the first fruits of that are going to be you elites when we drag you like the rats you are out of your hiding places, as it says in Amos chapter 9. Uh, yeah, 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 I, I got something too. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew 12 and 36. It says, but I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. You know, so, you know, like the guy, you know, you know, scoffer, you know, talking shit against the apostles, uh, uh, bishops, telling the brothers, great no stone, hey man, he's, they, 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 they're going to have to give account in the day of judgment, man. You know, whether you're all about shooting, how to take them out now. We take them at the end, but they're gonna have to get account for that, man. You know, so you definitely have to watch what you say about the men of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? You know, because these are His words. This is His prophecy. We're just vessels that set up to go out there and teach the word. Okay, that's it. You know, so if you're speaking against the men of Lord, you keep speaking against. Me. The, the apostles, the elders, bishops, the elders, the brothers, the great you know, you're speaking against your Hawaii, by Hashem, your Hawaii, Shai. And you already know you're going to lose that kind of thing. You know, like the saying goes, the arms too short, the boxer. God, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to lose that battle, man. 
This is, uh, I'm going to get you brother two on here. This is uh, Psalms 101 and 3, and I'm going to read down. It says, I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the works of them that turn aside. It shall not, uh, it should not uh, lead, should cleave to me. A forward of heart shall depart from me. I would not know a wicked person. Whosoever privately slander his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that has a high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. Yeah, it's plain. It's that's one. Okay, that's yeah, yeah, but I got something on the brother brought out. Got, you got something to argue? Well, no, nah, I mean, I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to go too long. I know, I know the elder wanted something you wanted to bring out. Yes, we're bringing it out. We're bringing it out right Because the brother was saying how these bodies going to be left out here. All right? <laughs> that's dumb in the earth. You know what I'm saying? You know? Uh, yeah, brothers, let me get it. Give it back to you, brothers. Uh, this is Second Ezra 16 and 23. It says, And the dead shall be cast out as dumb, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. So, you know, when make you wait to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, the start of these deadly diseases. Okay, all right. You, you wait, man, because the scriptures do speak about these pestilences that's going to take place. All right, so you wait till these deadly diseases come out, man. 
okay? You wait till the famine comes, all right? You wait till Esau brings his sword, man, okay? These dead bodies are gonna be all throughout these cities, man. And there's gonna be no one to comfort them, and there's gonna be no one to bury them, man, okay? It says, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. For the earth shall be wasted, and the city shall be cast down. It says, there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. So as, as you can see with these um, mandates that, that the wicked elite got going on, the international Jewish bankers, and look, man, the job's going to be a thing of the past, man. You know, because you got to take that, you know, that uh, that magic juice, man. You know, if you want to keep some kind of dog. But now they're hitting the private sector. So the people who don't want to take it, guess what, man? It's going to be out of work. You know, business closed. You know, it says, it says, the tree shall give fruit, and who shall gather them? Yeah, man, that's going into the um, the what? The grinding shall cease. All right, you know, because if you don't take that that magic juice, guess what? You're gonna be able to work, man. And that's a lot of people. See, Esau would have people believe that everybody's on board with, with, with taking the goddamn magic juice. No, you know, man, brother, you got a lot of people that ain't with that shit, man. You got a lot of people that would not, that that's not with that, taking that magic juice, man. You know? So they're gonna shut everything down any goddamn way. So soon there's gonna be no jobs to be had, period. Whether people get the goddamn um, 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 magic juice or not, okay? Whether people get the MOTV or not, this, this place is being shut down as we speak, okay? It says, it says the tree shall give fruit and who shall gather them? The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tre tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men, because it's going to come a time when people are going to have to leave the cities, man, because it's goddamn famine. Okay? They're going to have to leave these cities and try to go to find some place to get some food, man. You see what I'm saying? It says, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. For, the, for of the city there shall be ten left, and two of the field which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the cliffs of the rocks. As an orchard of olives upon every tree, there are left three or four olives. Yeah, because, man, it's it's going to come a point with this famine, man, with, with the goddamn uh, with, with the Gurkha troops, with the concentration camps, man. Ain't nobody going to be left in these cities, man. Okay, see, that's the, these are the, the prophecies that's going to take place here in America and all over the world. But it's going to be worse over here in America. This, this is going to be the worst place, man. Okay, for that famine, for them, those pestilences, man. Okay, and they got everybody thinking that because they take the goddamn magic juice that everything's going back to normal. Not according to prophecy. No, it's not, because it's going to be a famine, man. Okay, all right. And the people will have to leave these cities to go out to try to find some food. Bad, bro. Yeah, bro. Y'all want to talk Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. This is, uh, you know, going back to you know, what the was saying. Uh, yeah, speak a little louder. Yeah, speak a little louder. Yeah. Just going back to the point he was making about those idle words, you know, people say against us. And how y'all brought out the precept when he was pulling out. You know how the arrogancy of the words that they, you know, when they come from a particular suit or whatever, like that, you know, they talk crazy because we simply bring out prophecies that condemn, you know, and we make it clear and thoroughly break it down that scriptures is clearly against what they do, right? So, this is uh, St. John 7, and I'm gonna start at verse 7. Y'all can hear me good, yeah, yeah, we hear you good, okay. This is Jehovah Shah speaking. It says, the world cannot hate you. So the beef is not with us. You know, the beef that y'all have is with the actual message. And if you have a problem with the message, obviously you have a problem with the person who sent it. Right? right. So it says, but me, it hated. Now, this is your Howard speaking. So all you people are talking all of that, that madness. 
you know, speaking all of those proud words, laughing and scoffing at us, talking about we going out putting out medical misinformation, this and that and the other, right? You putting all those tags on your Howard shot. And you know what the scripture says about the Lord when it comes to his name. So it says, but I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. So this is the Lord. This is a direct shot. When y'all say all of these crazy things, man, this is a direct shot that y'all are sending directly to your Howard Bosch and your shot. And you're going to see clearly that we were just the vessels, man. That's it. You got it, bro. Come on, yeah, man, because even if people take your mac and juice. Yo, we start shutting this damn place down, man. We shut this, look, America's going to be completely shut down, man. You know? Ain't going to be no more jobs, man. Okay? The grinding shall cease, just like how the grinding is ceasing now. You know? Go ahead, brother. Um, this is Psalms 76 and 7. It says, Thou, even thou, ought to be feared. And who may stand in thy sight when when once thou art angry? Right, right. It says, Thou didst cause judgment to be heard from heaven, the earth feared and was filled. Because hey, at the end of the day, the earth is not uh, fearing the judgment of the Lord. Right. You know, these people walk around proud. They still got the $80,000 jobs, you know, yeah, they yeah, condominiums, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah. They yeah, wine and cheese, yeah, yeah, they're right? About to lose all that shit. Yeah, even, they're about to lose all that. Shit. Even Jake is uh yeah. in their in their comfort. They yeah, still yeah, got yeah. the government. They got the you know they getting the government benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the Section Eight. The, right, right, uh, right. With the, the universal basic income to every woman, single yeah, yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know our people are just in comfort, man. But that's arrogance <laughs> to the Lord because they believe there's no trouble that's coming to them. Right, right, right. It says when God arose to judgment. To save all the meek of the earth. Show me the wrath of man shall praise thee, the remainder of wrath shall thou restrain. It's the point 12. He shall cut off the spirit of the princes. He is terrible to the kings of the earth. So the Lord is intended to get busy, man. Yeah. He's going to take crowns off men's heads who have crowned themselves to be deemed with power and glory and strength and domain on the earth, man. So how much more? The poor right. or our people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't need yeah, to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So he come and take strength from kings on the on, on, on glory and on high. How much more the people who not kings in their pride. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 because what happens when that famine comes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Tells me. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happens when that famine comes, man? Right. For real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Hey, okay. I mean, you gonna have the elites, they gonna be eaten, but the, the, the peons, you know, two thirds of so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, you ain't gonna be eating, man. You're gonna be starving to death, dropping dead in these cities, man. You know? Yeah, look, there you go. I got one real quick, but you went into, you said something about the bodies? Yeah. Uh, or whatever like that, let me get it. We'll go back to it real quick. Yeah, man, this is, a, these damn cities are gonna become desolate soon, man, you know? Yeah. You're going to have to flee these cities. Yeah, that's right. That's and this, right. this is how it's going to be. This is uh, Nahum 3 and 3. It says, The horsemen lifted up both the bright sword and the glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain, a great number of carcasses. Mm -hmm. And there is none in of the carps. Carps. They stumble upon carps. Right. Well, that's that's how it's going to get so bad. Yeah, it's going to get so bad. Yeah, yeah. going to stumble on dead yeah, bodies yeah, and yeah, shit, yeah. man. No, no. Slipping on blood. You know, that's how bad it's gonna get here in America. Well, bodies gonna be piled up on bodies, man. Yeah, you know? and, and and you know that's gonna bring the, that's gonna bring diseases, man. Right. You, know? you see what I'm saying? You know. Y'all brother got one on that? Done. No. Bring it up, my brother. Well, we all wanna go, I guess. Bring it up, my brothers. Bring it up. Yeah, we we'll just uh, go down a little. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, the rush. The rush. The rush. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Galatians 6 and 7. It says, Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right? And to tell you, be not deceived, because at times it looked like, oh, the, at times shit in the past, it looked like these prophecies would never come to pass. Yeah. And that's why you had so many uh, scoffers at one point, man. But it didn't seem like this could be a reality. All right? But not every day 
you're starting to see shit about the martial law. You're starting to see shit about the mandates. You're starting to see shit about the, the actual uh, MOTB, man. All right, to where it's just unavoidable. All right, and it says, for he that soweth to his flesh, to his flesh shall reap of the flesh corruption. All right, so now you're starting to see all the people who dedicated their lives to this society, they're starting to be met with consequences for it. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of, of the spirit reap life everlasting. All right, so we're all about to get the, the proper rewards for our labors, man. But you see these the wicked, they're getting sick, they're getting judged, they're getting fucked up out here. They're about to get fucked up even more. And you're going to see us winning. Lord willing with those men. All right. All right. Right. Go ahead, uh, Gibran. Uh, this Revelation chapter 18 and verse 8, it says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Right? And it's speaking of America's uh, judgment coming in one day. This is the day of the Lord. He's coming like a thief in the night. Okay? And that thief in the night is also talking about taking his elect man up out of this, up out of, up out of this place, up on his chariot with him. All right? It says, Death and mourning and famine all right and i just seen an uh, article today that uh 34 percent of the americans are in agreement of a rebellion against the government so it's going to lead to civil unrest okay the storehouses are uh, being with no food and everything like that and and famine is one is, is the worst way to die it says and she shall be utterly burned with fire which ties in with isaiah 9 and 5 all right for strong is the lord yahweh why yahweh shot who judges her, right? So it's a great judgment coming, all right? Most High gave us a, a, a list of things that were gonna lead up to this, all right? These are the beginning of sorrows and mourning that we're in right now, all right? You got Jagger, it, bro. I got one for you, your rod. You can break it down. Backing up what you said, uh, hold up. I'm right on top of it, out. Uh. Yeah, here you go. This is Lamentations 4 and 9, it says, it says, they that be slain with the sword are better than they that are slain by hunger, with hunger. Mm -hmm. For they pine away, stricken through, for the want of fruits of the field. It will tell you that <laughs> by you starving a day, when, when a man doesn't have nothing, it's, it's, it's the worst way to die. When that, that, that famine begins with when the body, the body itself eats its own, it's, it, 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 it eats itself, okay? Yeah. Which, is, which is pain, okay? It's worse to die by a family than get hit by a, a, a straight bullet or a, a nuclear a nuclear fight. Okay. Right. You look like we all say, look, like we say down here. You start looking like a South African man. You got the big belly, skinny right. arms, and flies around your eyes, man. Where to go? <laughs> yeah. You look like that, that commercial they say send in fifteen cent. You can feed this 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 South African yeah. child here, man. That's what you start looking like one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, I, I got something right quick. Let's see what he's talking about. Oh, shit. It says, uh, 2nd Edges 16 and, and 18. The beginning of sorrow and great mornings. The beginning of famine and great death. You see, so that famine is going to be a major thing that's, uh, that's going to, you know, come and destroy a lot of the two thirds, man. You know? So we know that they're not bringing in the food like how they used to bring in. You know what I'm saying? You know, they know, you know, the ships is out there, man, they're being held back. Truckers can't deliver the food to the warehouses. The warehouses can't deliver to the supermarkets. So we know a is coming, man. You know, it's just a matter of time. It says, it says, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? And this is Ezra saying this, man. You know, he was a man of the Lord, bro. But he said, hell, what, he said, well, what am I going to do when these evils come? You see what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how great death is going to be. That's how much of a great death is going to be, man. In this place called America, man. Okay? It says, behold, famine. Plays, tribulation, and anguish are sending spirits for a minute. This is why Yahweh Yahweh is doing this, man. That's why he's bringing these fans, man. That's why he's bringing these plays. That's why he's bringing this tribulation and anguish to make a minute, man. Why? Because everybody's walking around proud as hell, like what we mentioned earlier. You know, they got their heads 
stuck up in the air. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's walking around with their noses up in there. Everybody don't want to get right with your Allah Allah Hashem, your Allah Hashem. So guess what? You got something for their asses, man. You know, you LGBT community, you know, you niggas that want to murder each other, okay? You niggas that want to believe in the so-called white man, you niggas, Latinos, and Americans, yeah, you, 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 you hoes. You simps, man. Yeah, you simps. Yeah. The tub drinking of your woman, yeah, body water, water nigga uh, drinking. Uh, back water. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. niggas. Out of the tub of your back water, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know? Toe sucking niggas, man. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I wish I got something for that. It's called Fantas. Yeah. It plays in English. And uh, uh, um, it says, Behold, famine plays in tribulation in English. Okay? So that's what your Allah and Hashem and Allah shot back for. Two thirds of the so called people like seen in America. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, get yours out real fast. I'm going to get that brother. Yeah, 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 brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is uh, in Second Ezra chapter 15. I'm going to start at 17 to back up what the elder was saying. Hey, these payments are hidden. And, and that's that's going to be one of the many concerns you people are going to go through because in Second Ezra 16 and 22, it says that those that don't perish from the hunger shall the sword destroy. Yep. So if if you happen to find a little bit of food here and there to sustain yourself, expect not to have it too much longer because troops are going to be kicking in doors, taking shit, yep. and people you thought were your neighbors or your best friends. It's, it's about to be a straight free-for-all out here. Yep. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But this is a uh, second Ezra 15 verse 17 a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able and that's a that's a state of martial law and in these other countries especially we're seeing it right now in, in australia a woman wanted to go and get get dental work done in a city the next town over but they said look you don't have proof of the juice so we're going to turn you around and it's in australia it's going to move to these other countries and it's going to be at the maximum here in the united states of america those that don't have the juice in these cities are going to have to be forced out of the cities, forced into quarantine camps, a whole host of things. Verse 18, and, and shit, people in the city are going to be suffering too because hey, the, 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 trucks are, the trucks aren't going to come in, the shortages are only going to continue, and it's just going to be like a, 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 a rat nest of people just viciously attacking each other in the midst of these troops and these other judgments. Verse 18, for because of their pride, what all the brothers have been talking about, these people still walking around with their heads in the clouds just because they got their little their little jobs or the, a roof over their head or food in their belly or some woman that they're committing adultery with, they think it's all good. Right. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And especially in America, the modern day sword is that gun. And, and during 2020, with those first lockdowns, you saw an uptick of uh, new gun owners, new gun users, you name it. So these people are getting locked and stocked and ready to go. Yeah. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, food, famines, and for great tribulation. Yeah. Your neighbors, your friends, hey, somebody. <laughs> yeah, 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 your neighbors, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, even your biological family members, people you thought you were cool, God, in that day are gonna kick that door in and treat you like a stranger. And and you're lucky if they just take your food. You're lucky if they don't take your 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 woman, your your daughter, your sons nowadays with these freaks out here. Uh, and even your life, like if you don't have that protective hedge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai over you, you, you better come to terms with the fact that you, you ain't going to have much time left on this earth when these calamities of Jacob's trouble really hit. Uh -huh. Damn, brother, that's right. Hey, we got a too, Oh, go ahead, Hold on. Yeah, it's a that scripture. got a scripture. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Behold, my servant shall eat. 
but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. So this, this judgment is really for the two thirds, huh? because there's a, an elect group of men, even the men, women, and children that believe on Yahweh Shai through the testimony of the prophets. They actually changed when they heard the Lord call, and they came. They repented and came back to Yahweh Shai. So this is why we we can move boldly and say, you know, all these things are going to happen, but we have hope that we're going to eat. We have hope that we're going to be delivered through all these things. That's what Yahweh Shai's name means. Yahweh Shai, he's the deliverer. We we have total faith in that. And this latest bug out that just got put to death, he's the deliverer. So what hope did he have anyway? Yeah, yeah, just to, just to um, get put to death and be risen up when Yahweh Shai comes back to receive that nuclear fire, man. You know? Because these dudes just ain't going to just die. And then that's it. No, when your outlaw shot to come back home, raise these people back up, and they want to catch that judgment, man. You know, of that nuclear fire. You know, if your outlaw shot is shooting the lasers out of the chalice, man. You know, so they're gonna have to receive that judgment, man. You know. Oh. Uh, why? Why you got you got some why? Kind, I got one. All right. Okay, and this is the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 21. It says, Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Because ultimately, we're going through things right now on this side. To prepare us for that day of Jacob's trouble. To prepare us for that deliverance. And the scriptures tell you in the sight of the unwise, we seem to die. So to the rest of the world, it seems like, oh, this guy just keeps taking ill. He's getting persecuted. But... To the most high, he's just building us up to be a print of uh, king, priest, judge, ruler of the earth. Under your house, shy, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. First Corinthians 10, 13 says, there's no temptation that um that has overtaken you that's not common to man. So we're just going through the things in the lot of the prophets that were before us. It says, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. With the most high, ultimately the, the greatest role reverser ever, man, because hit here we are getting beat down getting persecuted but the most high just like that he gonna put the shoe on a, he's gonna put the shoe on the foot of our enemies what you got it bro yeah you know he's right man and what you're saying in the lord wrath on his judgment the lord is jealous of things that's in the earth man because he don't he that the lord is he's a god of righteousness at the end of the day, so anything that's unrighteous, the Lord get jealous, man. And when you look at jealous in the in the 13th century from a biblical from the big biblical language, it means tolerate no unfaithfulness. <laughs> yeah, tolerate no unfaithfulness. And like you said, a man who so he put to death, he had no faith, so the Lord don't to tolerate that. And in a good sense, he don't he's jealous of Israelites who who lack faith too. You see, so the Lord is a God of balance. This name one wanted two. It says God is jealous and Yahweh revenge. So if he give you famine, you know, a, a, a gruesome debt or whatever it is, the Lord was jealous yeah. of whatever it was concerning you or a group of people. It says, and his spirits, and his spirits, the Lord will take vengeance on his adversaries all right, that means those that are against or opposed against the Lord. And he reserved wrath for his enemy. So there's a, a reservation set up for the enemies of God. And if you're a friend of the world, you're an enemy of the most high. If you're the other nation for crying out loud, you've been a he, he have had problems with Amalek since the beginning. He have had war with him. That's right. All right? So if you're the other nations, you're automatically an enemy of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Or uh, this seven. The Lord is good, a strong go into the day of trouble, and he knows that they're trusting him. This is the point. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof, 
and darkness shall pursue his enemies, man. So it's getting dark and cold for you. For the vast majority of you people of the earth, man. All right? What is the DMX? Uh, L is dark and hell is hot. Well, hell is a condition. So the people that's in heaven, they're going to receive hell, which is the condition of these Edomites of different nations that's on high. They about to get hell. And for everybody who is hot or warm, bro, they about to get cold, man. Which is a, a, a also a, a, a thing for destruction and judgment, man. You got to go. Yeah, I got, I got some. Uh, you had some. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I got one. Yeah, I got one too. Yeah, you he, he looking for it, so go ahead, uh, Kazaki. Can... All right, real quick. Uh, Revelation two and ten. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. God. All right. It says, "Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison." So as we can see, when you watch in current news. You know what the devil doing with the juice, which is gonna eventually lead to that karagma. If you don't receive these things, you're gonna be in prison, man. You know, and then they're also gonna use the so-called social media. They're gonna use the so-called Black Hebrew Israelite title that they put on us. When you look up the Southern part of the law, they list us as some type of a uh, uh, terrorist, uh, terrorist group, and all of this type of bullshit. So these people are setting the trap, basically to what they're going to start arresting brothers putting brothers in jail behind this shit right so this goes to show you how serious it's going to get right so it says that ye may be tried and it's not and it's, it's basically they're going to be trying to build cases against us but they're not going to be able to find no cause right and ye shall have tribulation 10 days be thou faithful unto death like the brother Rai you brought out earlier man even if it means you know getting put to death when you go to the book of Acts the men stood unto death. All through the, the New Testament, the men stood faithful even unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. You got it, brother. I know it's kind of. I know it's easier for y'all, brother, to you know, uh, kind of like hear each other on that side. Yeah, it's kind of back, kind of back to Kaya uh, and uh, you look because uh, I can like, holding it. It's First Thessalonians five. And I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna start about I'm gonna start about four and then read now. It says, uh let me go three. It says, for when they shall say, when they shall say, when they shall say peace and safety, all right, and sudden destruction shall uh sudden destruction shall come upon them as prevail with a woman with child, and they shall not escape. It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness that they shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. Ye are not of the night nor darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do. I'm not, it says, do others. But let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. And I'm coming to the end, it, uh, next, next verse in 10, it says, for the Most High has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who died for us, that whether we sleep, or whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. And it says, uh, whether, it says, wherefore comfort one another, Together and edify one another, even as ye also uh, ye do. You had it, Kazaki. Going into that. Uh, you heard me? What's that? I said, yeah, break it down. You, you I'll, I'll bring it down for you. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I put, I had, I had, you know, I had to build that piece of I bought out you to get a piece of Oh, yeah, I brought it out for you, but hey, go ahead, I brought that. I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I have some real quick. Yeah, you know, for the um, you know, for the uh, for the believers of of, of Bacchus, you know, but it's it is you know it's so called New Year. That's where it comes from. You know, the feast of Bacchus. You know, reverie, drunkenness. You know, you know, just doing all kind of wickedness. You know, um, laughing and. and being in a good mood, being in a good, uh, good spirit, 
you know. Um, this, this is a, this is Matthew, Matthew 6 and Matthew 6 and 25. It says, woe unto you that are poor, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that lack now, for ye shall mourn and weep. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, these people out there, man, you know, they know the dudes kissing their women, the, you know, the big hats on, with the year 2022, everybody's throwing confetti in the air. You know, see, they they full and they laughing now, man. But guess what? The time is coming for great judgment, man. Okay? All right? So even though these people are laughing now, but guess what, man? They're going to mourn and weep. Okay? Why? Because things are only going to get worse. You see what I'm saying? Things are only going to get worse, man. Even for the people who took the magic juice. It's still going to get bad for them, man. Okay? All right? Even people that take the RFID chip, it's still going to be bad for them, man. You know what I'm saying? So those who laugh, those who laugh, it says, those who laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. Why? Because Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is bringing judgment on this earth, man. Okay? To two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, you so called white people, and, and you heathen nations, man. You know, here it is, you know, the so called white man, you know, the wicked elite. Hey, they're going to be laughing when they bring in that, that RFID chip, when, when they bring in the MOTV. But guess what? They're not going to be able to enjoy it, man. Okay? Because as soon as they bring in that, that, that MOTV, which is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to take them out of here, man. They're going to go into slavery. You know? So they're going to enjoy it for, but for a quick moment. That's why it says, it says, Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. And Esau, the so-called white man, he's going to mourn and weep, man. You know, because he's going to bring in that RFID chip, and guess what? Boom! Yahweh Shah is coming and take his ass down, man. Okay? And raise up the elect of the nation of Israel under the power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right? You know, so they're going to rejoice when they bring in the RFID chip. But guess what? Yahweh Shah is going to bring them to what? Mourning and weeping. Because they're going into slavery. Okay? The wicked elite. The international bankers, yeah, you're doing your thing, but guess what? As soon as you go against the men of the Lord, that's your ass, man. Okay? As soon as you come up like a flood against the men of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Chai, you're doing it on a small level now by taking down the videos. But you literally going to actually come after the men of the Lord, man. Okay? You're going to have to come after the One West camps. As soon as you do that, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Chai, Gonna set standards, standard that spurred your power, and you're gonna be out of here, you saw, man. You know, so enjoy giving people the RFID chip, man. Enjoy it, thinking you got it. Guess what? You're gonna laugh, but you're gonna weep and mourn later. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the book of James, chapter 5, starting at the top. Go to now, rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, mm -hmm. and your garments are mocked. Mm -hmm. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, mm -hmm. crying, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Yeah, I was going to say something too. Because most of these billionaires, these men, these guys that are millionaires, a lot of the, way they, the ways they got rich is through corruption, through, through, through uh, thievery. Yeah. You know, these niggas have stolen that money. A lot of this money out here, like especially in the South, a lot of this money that you see, these Edomites got is still slave money. They're still benefiting off slave money. The children of the, of the, the slave owners are still benefiting yeah, off yeah. slave money. So this is corrupt, bloody money, man. All right, all throughout the South, Hell, fuck it, the whole goddamn country, man. The whole, the whole goddamn country. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact. Yeah. No, these devils have gotten these riches 
all right, through some treacherous ways, man. All right? What you think, um, what you think, uh, you just think that nigga Bill Gates is just selling computers? Yeah. You think he's just selling, uh, nah, what is uh, Ma uh, Microsoft 10 to you niggas? Nah, he got that through some, some foul ways, man. You see the shit he got in now with the buying a massive lands throughout the South? Um, being a, the promoter of this, the, the magic juice, man. All right, what the other nigga name is, uh, with the bad eye? Uh, Jeff Bezos. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga is a, a, a devil on high, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he got a he got a uh, when they when he said when he was standing sitting up there in that interview with that goddamn I'm talking about Bill Gates that man that he's married to and he talking about and niggas talking about coming up against you niggas with the with the Jamba Juice. That nigga, that nigga said, yeah. He said he, he had this this devil. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. That nigga, got a, that nigga got a stiff one when he said that shit, man. Yeah. Wait till the like one of you brothers know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I remember what he yeah. said. He was like, they didn't. They take, oh. take the next one. <laughs> God. Alright, brother, I got something right quick. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is Amos. This is Amos nine. Oh yeah, nigga, you about to get blocked. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Come on, it's 9 13. Yeah. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that the plowman shall overtake the reaper. Yeah. You see, so these days are coming, man, but he saw he won't be prosperous no more, man. Right. Who's the plowman? Nation of Israel, man. Okay? All right? Who's the reaper? Who's reaping all the benefits in this damn society? It's about the Jewish bankers, man. Okay? Along with the regular peon so called white people. So the plow man just says, Behold, the days come, say Yahweh, that the plow man shall overtake the reaper, and the tread of grapes, and that soul of sleep, and the mountains shall drop sweet wine, and all the hills shall melt. Amen. It says, it's, and I will bring again the captivity of my people of Israel, and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them, and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof. They shall also make gardens and eat the fruit thereof. So, yeah, man, so, you know, the, 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 like, the kingdom's going to be planted from one people to another. Esau is a rulership now. Okay, but it's going to transfer right back to Israel, man. And what's building, you can't let everybody see the nations. Guess what? we going to eat the fruit there, man. We're going to drink the wine of the vineyards, man. We, Israel's going to get all the benefits. All right? So he saw his time is up. All right? And that's why he's coming down with his great wrath, because, you know, we have the first time, like it says, Revelations 12 and 12. So for the wicked elites, international bankers, the time is up, man. Okay, it's time for Yahweh Shai to bring righteousness in his kingdom under the nation of Israel and righteousness in the earth, man. Okay, that's something. Yeah, you spoke about uh, we should reap the fruits. Yep, yep. Like that. This Second Timothy two and six, the husbandman that labor it must be first partakers of the fruits, man. Yeah, men who are laboring and working and they gonna get the fruit of their reward, man. That's the that's the fruit of this reward. All right, it's the labor. When you labor, then you're going to get it. Yeah, yeah. Those men didn't labor for anything. That's why it's going to be taken from them. But if you right. labor for it, that's okay. Then it's it's for you. Right. Once the recompense of the reward come through, it's for you to inherit it and do as you will. Right. But when you didn't inherit something, all right, that means you stole it. Yeah. You got it by the fraud right. or deceit. Right. Yeah. All right, that's why I say by the fraud and deceit, the higher. Right. The hours are, are, are kept back, right. meaning the certain the people who are working for you, you just get fraud them, man. All right, so we labor in righteousness, so the fruit of our reward is going to be what? The eternal life, yeah. everlasting, yeah. the fruits was yeah. coming yeah. when they were for righteousness. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Hey, um, I 
think I left off Kazaki or um, the Russian Nick, right? Go on, Kazaki, I got you got one, Kazaki? I got one. All right, then we're going to go with the Russia. Go ahead. Okay. This is, uh, uh, you go ahead, you go ahead, D Red. I'm off my computer, kind of freezing up. Did I, did my, did my, uh, thing go out really? Yeah, short, real short. Yeah, okay, you can go ahead, bro. All right, Donna. This, uh, Joe's 24. This, knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon the earth that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment all right so so esau's time is but for a moment because when you look into that word hypocrite it goes into acting right? esau's the the biggest actor on the planet earth right everything that he uh is actually guilty of he tries to, to push that image on the israelites man specifically the elect it is this man is an actual drug dealer he's uh, just running the drug trade he's an actual murderer he's an actual pedophile an actual rapist <laughs> okay but he tries to push all these bad images on us all right it says though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaches the, unto the clouds all right though he seems like this, this great nation this great people yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he <laughs> All right, so that's the time that we're about to enter into, man. Esau's about to be completely wiped off the face of the earth, right? First, he's going to start with his rulership, and then a thousand years after that, that slavery is finished, it's going to become literal, man. You're literally going to get cleaned the fuck out. Yes, yeah, so it's another year of 2022. It's closer to the downfall of destruction of this Edomite, okay? Of all the Edomites, okay? This is 2022 is closer to the destruction of Earth, aka Babylon, aka the spiritual Sodom, aka the spiritual Egypt. Okay, so it's just another, it's just another day closer to the destruction of this man and righteousness under Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, reigning on this earth, man, and the deliverance of the elect of the nation of Israel. So it's just another day closer, man. All right. And we're gonna go go ahead. You got you got it, uh Kazaki? Come. Yeah, go ahead. You're come down. All right. You're right. Okay, come. It's, uh, here we go. Uh take your time, brother. Bear with this with this computer. Okay, here we go. This is uh St. John eleven forty five. Y'all can hear me good? Yeah, yeah. yeah you good, bro. All right, St. John 11. Uh, I start the first with 25. It says, uh, Yahweh Shah said unto her, I am the resurrection. He that believeth in me, though he was dead, yet shall he live. And that dead is not just talking about physical death, but also spiritual death. Like us as a nation, you know, we were dead. In the state of condition in that we in the fucking valley of the shadow of death. You know, and scriptures of Ralph is as a valley of our bones, you know, is that is as we're dead. So we're gonna live again, we're gonna rise up again with our Lord you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like he suffered, we have to suffer. Just like he rose, we have to roll. You got it, bro. Yeah, go ahead, uh Ron. Uh, this is uh, a sick uh, Psalm chapter 149, uh, verse 6 through 8, real quick. It says, Let the praise of Yahweh Bashmiel shall be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand. That's going to be literal in the kingdom of heaven. All right, like it says in the book of Psalm 7, chapter 7, you're going to rule them with a rod of iron, with, with our staff in the hand. Okay? And it says, To execute vengeance upon the heathen. <laughs> With second Thessalonians, uh, the first chapter, verse 69, going to that, all right, and punishment upon the people. So, like the scripture says in uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, all right, the curse that was upon us is going to be brought back upon you, so ill, man, all right. In Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 through 14, is coming straight for you, all right. So, it says, last verse, verse 8, to bind their kings with chains, all right, and their nobles with fetters of iron. All right, so he that leaves in the captivity shall go into captivity. And these kings of the earth, all right, 
you're going to be shackled up, man, beginning with the top Baker family. How are shots coming for you, for you elites? You got it, bro. All right. Oh, is he ready? Got any last scripture? Yeah, brother. You know, so we're going to close it up on that. Any brothers got scriptures you want to bring out? Any brothers got scriptures you want, last scriptures you want to bring out? Yeah, I have one. We got a quick one. That's, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay. All right, brother. So, hey, man. Another year closer to this so called white man's end, man. All right. And, uh, you know, Upper Rogers out. You know, we almost out of here. Shout out. All right. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out.